You know, it sounds so obvious. It seems so simple. But I, I was, as I was praying about this, I was like, the first thing that I have a tendency not to do when I need something or I need wisdom or I, I, there's a problem or something comes up, sometimes I don't call out to God. I don't just call out to him. Je- Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3 says, call to me and I will answer you and show great and mighty things which you do not know. Call to me. In other words, I've got great, God's saying, I've got great things to show you, but you have to call out to me. I can't show you the things that I have until you call out to me. We are in spiritual warfare, and I don't know about you, but if the enemy will be very satisfied, if he can get you into a place where you can think about calling out to God, but you never actually do. How many times do we worry and think about a problem over and over and over? In fact, as I'm saying this, the Holy Spirit might be telling you some of these things that he wants you to take, and you just think about it and think about it, and he's saying, you haven't actually brought that to me and called out to me yet. How many of you guys know that's a win for the enemy? If, they can, if the enemy can keep you from calling out, the great things that he has in store for your life don't happen. They don't happen. We are in a spiritual warfare, but if we come to him, how many of you guys know he always knows what to do? He always knows what. There is no problem too big. There is no situation where all of a sudden he's like, you did it. You got me. I don't know what to do with that problem, with, that, with, with what's going on in your life. No. He always knows what to do. And there is spiritual warfare happening that attempts to inhibit us from literally vocalizing and crying out to God. Thinking is not praying. Thinking is not crying out to God. You can do devos at Starbucks, but you can't really do everything because unless you cry out to God, I mean, if you do, you're probably going to be asked to leave. (laughs) That'd be weird. (laughs) I'd freak out as a believer. I'd be like, what are you doing, man? Like, let's just go to the parking lot or something and go to your car. But we need to cry out to God. Don't just go through life thinking about the challenge. He's saying, call to me. Listen, the children of Israel, they were in captivity for 400 years in Egypt. But when they cried out to God, immediately God sent a deliverer. They didn't receive the promise. They didn't receive freedom until they cried out to God. He's calling us to cry out to him. 